Let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the passing game. Passing game is awful. Um, Colts have good receivers. They have good tight ends. It's not getting utilized correctly. And I think that's due to not using the run until the second half. Colts are very weird uh, early in the season here because they've not been running the ball enough in the first, in my opinion. They're looking for too many big shots. They're looking for too much, you know, big plays with Richardson because he's capable. He's clearly capable. But get the run game going. If you get the run game going in the first half, It'll be good all game, and you are going to be able to take more shots during uh, second quarter, kind of like week one where Richardson was really good and in his groove for a lot of the game. Does his football IQ need some work? Yes. Do I think he can still fix that? Yes. Again, if the guy was slow or if the guy uh, missed his reads, you know, that would be one thing, which he did miss a few. But honestly, the biggest thing about this game that makes it good is the Colts can win with Richardson having a bad game, which means when he has a good game, oh my gosh, look out. Jonathan Taylor finally came back into form because they just gave him the ball. They fed him the ball. He had one catch, 25 yards, and a lot of rushes for, I think, 100 and a touchdown. Incredible day from JT. Amazing. But the biggest factor to this win, and this is going to shock the whole Colts nation, Everybody was giving up on him. Everybody was giving up on this unit. And it's the defense. Latu, where is he? Oh my gosh, we got after guy number 15. Where is he? Force fumble, biggest time of the game. Jalen Jones says some people are calling him number 40. Some Colts fans are calling the dude number 40. First of all, it's Jalen Jones. You should know you, you know the, the guys on your team. But Jalen Jones, two interceptions. Two. Nick Cross, great game. I know I've had my gripes about, you know, him hurting downs in training camp, but Cross has actually played very good. One of the most solid guys in this defense. Sierra and EJ learned how to tackle again. I'm hoping to see the podcast come back this week because, you know what, they earned it. I'm glad they didn't make one last week because, you know what, they didn't play well enough. And you could just tell Zaire and EJ were locked in, ready to go to another level. They only allowed, I think, it was 54 with like four minutes left, so probably roughly like 60 yards rushing compared to 270 per game week one week two that's amazing improvement and they're going to need it against the Steelers Justin Fields obviously running quarterback they are going to be running a lot of the options and stuff that Richardson probably ran in training camp so I think that will give an advantage to the Colts no prediction for that game yet but what I have to say is one win can be the difference in a season one win can change everything Houston also lost I think the Colts are going to look back at the film they're going to realize they had things to do better Richardson's going to have to look at himself and realize he doesn't make a mistake that goal line the game's over way earlier because they probably have a field goal there and they would have been up eight late in the game instead of up five with the hearts beating out their chest. This was a humongous win for Indianapolis and I'm glad it happened. Was it against a great team? Really no. Bears kind of looked trash. But uh, so did the Colts. We're going to learn a lot from week four. And I'm excited to play the Steelers. It's going to be a huge test. Steelers are 3-0. and They're on their high horse. You know, they're ready. Obviously, they're motivated. Colts have to go in with a chip on their shoulder mentality. They're playing at home again. There will be a lot of Steelers fans. There's a lot of Bears fans today. Richardson played through it. He had a very good drive. Let me mention one more thing before I go. Richardson did not do good in the air. He did pretty good with his runs in the end. And his best play of the game was where he ran up behind Jonathan Taylor there pushed him into the end zone with the rest of the team around him. That that right there showed me uh, something about the Colts. Their energy was better today. They were alive. They were lit. They were flying to the football. And they look like the Colts of last year. If they can keep that up, the season is long, long, long way from over. And the wild card is still open. But it starts way big with week four. Because not only would that win catapult them to two and two, five hundred, basically reset of the season. It would also be a huge win against the team who is definitely looking for the wild card or winning their division. But either way, it's a conference matchup against a team who you know is going to be in the fight at the end. So these are the type of games where you need to win them. It reminds me of the Browns game last year. And I think if the Colts don't get robbed like that again, then I think they can win. So it'll be interesting. I'll do my, you know, research throughout the week, but great win from the Colts. It was ugly, but a win is a win. Thank you guys for watching. Aflac Time out.